Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to Whiskey Day number eight of our Whiskey Christmas Advent Calendar. So we have got day number eight. We're gonna uncover what's behind door number eight. And last episode I believe was number seven. And it was uh, questionable whiskey in terms of our actual opinion on it. Monkey actually had to resuscitate him, bring him back to life. So he's actually standing there right now, otherwise he would probably never come back to my YouTube videos again if I gave him any whiskey like that again in the future. Um, but yeah, so number eight over here. I gotta be careful, these things are falling out like anything. So number eight is gonna be the Cardu 12 year old. So just over there, I'll hold it up on screen. Cardu 12. Now Cardu 12, you can pick it up quite easily in uh, local shops, Costco. Um, it's 40% ABV, so I believe it is chill, chill filtered and also artificially colored. Uh, it's a Diageo product from the Speyside region. But uh, we're gonna pour ourselves a dram, a little dram, and um, I'm gonna keep that over here. So, let's next move into the nosing of this whiskey, because we're gonna just try to go through quite a few of these as well. Now, Cardi, you mainly do see it used by Diageo in blends. However, they do bottle a core range, which is a 12, a 15, an 18, the Amber Rock. And there's another one which is just escaping my mind right now. So they do have five core expressions from their range. But Diageo do use a proportion of it, mainly in blended whiskeys for the Johnny Walker range. So on the nose for the Cardu 12, it starts out quite nice and fruity, very inviting, very soft, mellow. You're getting a lot of those fruity aspects, green apples, a little bit of pear. I'm actually picking up peaches quite distinctively on the nose. And these are peaches that are ripe peaches. They're not raw. They've sort of met the maturity and they're on their way on the way on carrying on. There's a little bit of sultanas over there, brown sugar, vanilla, sort of all married well together. To I was going to keep adding to that there, but I re refrained from it there because it felt more like a dessert where you're getting like a fruit salad, but these specific fruits all combining together and sort of just combined in sort of that little brown sugar glazed coating. Very nice on the nose. The Cardio 12 is brilliant in terms of the nose. All right, let's next move into the palette. Good day, monkey. You good? On the palette for this one, the peaches completely disappear. On the nose, it's so much more easier, inviting. On the palette, a little dry, a little soft spice, almost like a peppery spice to begin on the palette. It does give you that sort of aspect of leather books, well, the little coating of the, the books, so the uh, the cover of books, leather books, that there too. But, texture-wise, around about, I'd say, a medium texture, it's quite almost, you can feel it, it's a leathery texture, as I mentioned on the tasting notes. It does have that little bit of a fruity aspect, but it's ever so faint. It's nothing like a sherry bomb or a summer fruit. This is somewhere where fruits have had time. Time to be left out. Almost like a velvety fig. A little dry. Almost dusty, actually. It's like it's been left out a bit too long. I'm gonna have a second sip because the nose is really great, really inviting, but the palate, it's not keeping up with it. So yeah, the palate on this one does have a nice fruity aspect, but it's not heavily fruity, it's soft fruit. The velvety fig character. But I'm getting leathery notes, dusty notes. Not really so complex. Probably this is why I can see why they use it in blends. It's not giving so many aspects of flavor, but it would be considered for me as like a backbone in terms of it just is quite solid in terms of its texture. 
But yeah, not so much in terms of the actual palate for the whiskey, but the nose is really nice, really inviting, quite nice, fruity. The palate, a little bit completely different. So we're gonna move in the finish, see what else we can pick out, but that'll be about it. So in the finish. So the finish for the Cardu 12 is actually quite short. It doesn't really give itself that length, not that complexity. It's quite mellowed out, quite easy going. The palette wasn't so much, but the nose is really nice. The, the finish on this one, I say, definitely going to be, I'm going to give it a short finish. A soft sort of fig note, but it's ever so light. The dusty character is back in there. A hint of smoke and quite a strong character of a multi character. Really sort of sitting on the palette as it dries the back and the mid palette on its way and then it's just completely gone. So it sort of just makes you want to require to drink more. So Cardi 12 is not a bad whiskey, but it's not the most complex whiskey in terms of what I like. So let me know your thoughts on the Cardi 12. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you like the Cardi 12? your opinion let me know because i'm going to read it and i'd be rather intrigued so when i get to around to doing the full review i'll have a little bit more time with this whiskey and see exactly how it does fare out but on that note i believe i'll wrap the video at that so this is going to be day number eight let me know your thoughts down below drop it a like if you have enjoyed be sure to click the subscribe button if you're new and at the same time check out the other videos which i'll leave here here and there but on that note this has been jason whiskey wise and i'll catch you all for the next video